80% of all life on earth is killed by viruses. It's mostly stuff in the ocean, right? Like bacteria, algae, plankton, that kind of stuff. But you know, these bacteriophages are in everything. Like they're super pervasive and they, for example, they're related to controlling the global carbon cycle because you have cyanobacteria in the ocean, they absorb light, you know, CO2. And then they, and then phages kill them and they fall to the bottom of the ocean. Phages actually control carbon absorption of the ocean. That's so gnarly. <laughs> but let's say you have two bacteria and one of them has a phage and the other one doesn't. Phages are very selective about what they infect, right? If you sequence that mishmush, you wouldn't know that phage was in bacteria A and not in bacteria B. Well, so there's all this sequence information of phages. Nobody knows where they come from. Nobody knows who they infect. And what's the most interesting thing about a phage? It's who it's targeting, right? And they can only live in the host. They don't just live on their own. You can't grow it in the Petri dish. But suddenly, you know which DNA sequences are touching each other inside of cells. So suddenly you say, okay, you know what? This phage was touching that bacteria's genome. So the genome of this phage was touching the DNA of this bacteria. Therefore, that phage was infecting that bacteria. Suddenly you have the ability to separate all the genomes out and map the plasmids and the phages where they come from without having to culture. 